wave has had a very bad impact upon the economy because the economy was partially recovering from the first wave. The recovery was not complete. And before the com completion of the recovery, we were hit by the second wave. As a result, the economy has again gone into a downturn. And therefore, the second wave has uh, had a very bad impact upon the economy. Multiple ways of looking at this. Uh, but on a net basis, all the income that we lost during the last one year and will lose in the coming one or two quarters will be lost forever. Uh, those incomes that we were to earn will not be recovered. It's also the case that the country has become a little weaker with a large part of its consumer classes having lost jobs and incomes, having possibly uh, taken large amounts of debt. So their ability to uh, recover and run the pump the economy back into a high growth phase is compromised. So it will take a long time before we recover entirely from this and what is lost is lost. The simplest way of looking at this is how many jobs have we lost. So in April and May, we have lost 22.7 million jobs. This is the second wave, April and May 2021. Uh, just for reference, the total number of jobs in the country is of the order of 400 million. So imagine out of 400 million people who were employed, 22.7 million of them have lost their jobs in the past two months. Uh, there is obviously a fall in income as well. The income numbers will take about four or five more months before we get them. But I would say that there is a substantial income loss as well.